So genetic counseling is an information process by which a patient comes in and we generally take a pedigree or a family tree from that patient and we determine if the patient needs genetic testing based on either their personal history of disease or their family history of disease. So I work in the field of cancer genetic counseling and we do see people with very rare forms of cancers. An example would be retinoblastoma or usually a childhood cancer of the eye. And what we know is that although this is a rare cancer, when we see retinoblastoma, that patient should have genetic counseling and testing. Why? It can help us predict their chance of developing another retinoblastoma or another cancer caused by the same genetic mutation that causes retinoblastoma. And it certainly influences the risks to their siblings, to future siblings, and to other family members. It also gives us some idea of should this patient be getting irradiation and what will that mean to them down the line. So using that as a model, you can see why genetic counseling for rare cancers and rare diseases can be very valuable to the patient and their entire family. The way that we deal with it, we, we take a detailed four-generation family tree or pedigree from the patient, we collect their medical records, we review them, and we research these diseases to see is there a genetic component if so, what are the pros and cons for this syndrome of offering testing? How will it, it impact this patient's management? What will it mean for family members? Who does this test? What kind of sample do they need? What's the cost of the test? And we research all of that and tie it into the genetic counseling session. So the majority of patients who come into my clinic come in because of a personal or a family history of breast, ovarian, or colon cancer. That's the bulk of the work. But we do also see some cases that aren't that uncommon to us, but they're uncommon in the real world. Some examples are a medullary form of thyroid cancer, a skin finding called a sebaceous adenoma or carcinoma. We also see male breast cancer, something that's really rare in the general population, but we see it, see it fairly frequently in our clinic. When we see these cases, and some are even more rare than that, I once saw a gentleman with a skin cancer condition. He had thousands and thousands of rare skin cancers. I will probably never see anyone else again with that condition because it is so rare.